<laughs> and as long as I keep my attention up and we don't crash into Roger, it'll keep going. So that is an interesting concept. This is the NeuroSky headset. It's basically, the idea is it's monitoring if I'm paying attention, how relaxed I am, and that's telling me the signal's going. So for $189, you get the NeuroSky headset. It's actually, the idea is it's capturing whether or not I'm focusing, if I get my attention going, and apparently I'm really distracted right now because I'm doing three things simultaneously. The helicopter will launch $189. Orbit.puzzlebox.info is the website. You get the NeuroSky headset. You get the receiver, the application that runs on the iPad, and the helicopter. One more time, let's see if I can concentrate the helicopter into the sky. Watch my head explode. Uh-oh. I gotta say, I'm fascinated. I'm still concentrating. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. And it stopped. <laughs> For more of a coverage from CES 2013, including OLED TVs, new cameras from Nikon, Canon, and a whole bunch more, do us a favor, head over to revision3.com slash techzilla or youtube.com slash techhd. I'm Patrick Norton. I'm gonna go find some more interesting toys. I actually am kind of fascinated by this. I gotta go. Hey there, it's Stephanie from Revision 3 here at CES, and we are in the Ford booth with Julius Marchwicki, who's here to tell us about some exciting, very exciting very news exciting for news. developers. Huge news. So today we launched the developer program, the Ford developer program, available at developer.ford.com. It's the best place for app developers to create uh, safe, non-distracting, voice-activated applications for the vehicle. That's awesome. That sounds really exciting for developers. Now tell us, what are some of the tools that are available for these guys? Well, when developers log on to the website, they have access to sample code, the SDK, white papers, tips and tricks, a forum, blogs, uh, basically everything they need to know about how to create an application that's voice-enabled, that you can access all the features, but you keep your hands on the wheel, your eyes on the road, all activated via voice. So when I think about apps and cars, I'm thinking like music and news, but tell us a little bit more about some other cool apps that are out there. Yeah, so music and news are, are so essential for the car, and those are often the most fun. But location-based services are also a really, really big one. Um, so we launched an app called Glimpse, um, which is an application that lets you share your location with your friends. We also have Be Coupley, which uh, helps you find cool date ideas nearby. Uh, but on top of that, for, for news, we have USA Today and Wall Street Journal. We have a Kaliki news app that helps, uh, helps you find great content, uh, as well as Rhapsody. So lots of music there. Uh, so we're just really excited. It's going to be awesome. Great. So you should go to developer.forb.com to check out more information. And Julius, thank you so much for bringing us this amazing content from Ford. Thank you. Thank you so much, Stephanie. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. All right.